Hey, Bob Hughes here. I'm the owner of JD Squared. And as you know, we build the MAD plasma tables. Uh, this is our, our customer demo table machine. This is actually the new adjustable water table where the water has been lowered to its low point if anybody is pretty observant. Anyway, we have had tremendous success with this machine. Um, very robust, everything's going great. There's only one problem with it that we hear from a lot of people. It's a little bit too much money. And, and the, the numbers are anywhere from two to $3,000 out of their price range. And we understand that completely because this machine is designed, like all of our machines, our plasma machines, uh, 30 to 40 year into life. So we didn't cut any corners. There's nothing cheaply done on it. So the problem became, how do we make a more affordable machine when you you're already selling this. You, uh, we're, we're never going to build a machine like you see out there for, you know, seven or eight thousand dollars. This junk with a tube and a real linear guide on it. It's a, we're never going to do that. Anyway, so the quest became build a lower cost machine. Now another problem, other than a little higher cost than this over some of the hobby machines, was the amount of freight. When we ship these machines, the freight company is now making us completely enclose the entire machine in wood which is about a $400 crating charge because it is a crap load of wood. The other problem is these machines are heavy. So to ship a, a 5x10 or something like that to California, you look at about 4,000 pounds, a little over 4,000 pounds, and I think it could be anywhere from three to four grand in shipping alone. So that too is a crippling factor for somebody who just wants a plasma machine but doesn't want to break the piggy bank. So the answer to those problems is right here. We're introducing it next week. This is our new line of plasmas called the PVD. It's specifically targeted at people who are not cutting every single day, so they don't need the 1150-inch rapids, for instance, that the MAD has. This machine is a little slower, 700 inches per minute, but they still want a high-quality machine. So these are the kind of people like Etsy. You're a car builder. You want to do brackets. You're, you're an artist or whatever. Um, and you want a plasma machine, but you don't need a man. This is the answer. Now, there are the differences, the trade-offs with this machine and the other one are, first of all, the table is slightly lighter duty. It's still made out of heavy 3 16th inch steel. Um, in one of our demo videos later, we're going to drop an inch and a half 4x4 four four plate from about this high. We're going to drop it right on the machine to show you that this is not a lightweight frame. However, the man is out of control strong. This is not quite its equivalent. The other change we made, we've gone, since we have slower rapids, 700 inches compared to 1150, that basically means we have a little more gear reduction. So we've gone to slightly smaller gears right here. They're half inch compared to the three quarter on the mat. Um, we're not using the round rail as we do on the mat. I personally think the round rail is the, the absolute best way to go if you're cutting a lot because it kind of self-cleans. I'm, I'm hugely against linear guides. I'll do a whole video explaining why you don't want a linear guide machine. But anyway, um, this machine uses a flat rail system, but we have scrapers inside the cam follower covers, and we have scrapers inside to keep this clean while she's cutting. The other major difference is the MAD comes with a fanless industrial computer. Um, and it's because it's, it's designed for industry, right? You got, you got dust in the air. It's very nasty environments. These machines are designed more for the smaller shop. Somebody's going to take care of the machine. Every once in a while, they're actually going to wipe a rail off or something like that. <clears throat> so we don't supply this machine with a computer. And the computer in the mag, you're looking at it's just almost $1,000 because it is industrial. It's fanless and all. This is a computer that I went and picked up at Best Buy for $479 with a 2.8 gigahertz AMD processor, touchscreen control, one terabyte hard drive, the whole bit, for $479. You're talking a huge savings right there. Now, the other thing is about supplying your own computer. You may already have one, by the way. Keep it, keep it, in, um, keep it in mind that we already have the computer that's running the machine is in the machine. All this computer is doing is running our user interface that talks to this computer. So you could have an old PC laying around for two years and not run it, break it out, load our software on it, and you're up and running. As long as the, as long as the computer has good enough responsiveness to where you know, you're not waiting forever to load programs because it's got a slow hard drive or something like that. The other thing is we don't supply the pedestal. In my mind, I kind of envision this kind of machine 
where somebody sets up a little table, they put their computer on top of it, and off they go, you know, in their garage or something like that. Now, another advantage is flying on your own computer. Say you want a bigger screen. Now, this one's touchscreen, by the way, for $479. But suppose that you want a bigger screen or you want a better computer. You want to put an i7 or something because you want to run your nesting software on the same computer. And it's running this. Well, that's easily said. That's easily done. You go down to Best Buy, seven or eight hundred bucks. You got yourself a very fast all-in-one, and you're off and running. Um, whereas our industrial computer in the mad, we do not recommend running the nesting software on there because it doesn't have the kind of horsepower needed. Whereas you can supply that yourself. The um, like I said, the stand. We'll sell you a stand, but they're just too easy to build. You save some money. <clears throat> now, without having to do all that. That dropped the price of the 4x4 four four to just a, a earth-shaking $9,900 for this complete machine. Now, we talked about um, some of the differences are how are we getting a reasonable performance. And I'll fire this thing up here in a minute and you can see it move. we got 700 inch per minute rapids, but the cutting characteristics, the speeds, the accelerations, the feeds, everything, are identical to the MAD. So whatever you cut on this machine or the MAD, you'll never know which one did it. Now, to do that... The MAD has a very heavy gantry, about 372 pounds. The gantry is this part up here. This machine, the gantry weighs around 160 pounds, much lighter. That less than half the weight, actually. So what it allowed us to do was replace the double motors that are on each end of the gantry on the MAD with a single motor driving a drive shaft, which comes out, and it will drive through these pulleys to achieve the same thing. Now, these pulleys are HDP high-performance belts and pulleys. And um, zero backlash. They're actually, I really like them because if you ever want to center your uh, square your machine, you just break two set screws loose, right? Or two screws loose, square it, retighten down the collar, and your machine is square and off you go. <clears throat> so the differences right there are pretty much instead of running two motors, we're running one motor. But the weight is a big thing. This machine is about half the weight of a MAD, and the frame is designed to be assembled at your location. Now I put this frame together myself here, not the slats and everything, but the basic frame itself in about 20 to 30 minutes. I'll be doing a complete video of me putting the frame together, one person by myself putting it together. Um, that video will be coming out in a couple weeks or so. Anyway, the frame being a breakdown, instead of having to build this giant dog house, we're able to put this whole machine into a much smaller box, less than half the weight of the bed, drastically reduces the freight to get to the west coast. So that's basically your, your differences. Oh, one other critical difference. At this point in time, we are not looking at a water table option for this machine. By the time we add the water table option, just go the extra couple thousand and, and buy a mad. It, it's, it's almost impossible to beat it. But we are considering it maybe for the, the, the smaller machines. Uh, and by smaller, I mean we're basically coming out with a 2x4 machine, which is going to be $8,950. A 3x3 three three machine, which is $8,950. The 4x4 four four right here is $9,900. 4x6 is eleven four, And the 4x8 four is $12,900. Pretty, pretty attractive pricing. Anyway, let's talk about a couple real quick, some of the similarities of the machine. I, I, I can't make a hobby machine. This, it's got to be a light industrial machine. So this machine has all the features that the MAD has. It has the breakaway torch. It has the docking station to where you can move it over. It has the optional scribe system that's the exact same one that's on the MAD. It has the laser pointer. We're running Technic Clear Path brushless servo motor, just like the MAD. We're running the 12 millimeter hardened rod, everything just like the MAD. Very importantly though, we're running the same control panel Everything here, the wiring, everything that's on the mat. If you notice, you never see us having problems on the internet with our machines, and that's because we spend a lot of time engineering. So we have a lot of, we have very good wire, high frequency um, rejection wire um, made by IGUS, a very top line company. IGUS cable carriers, everything like that. We can't cut those corners because now it's the, the machine life is going to suffer. All of our machines are designed and guaranteed that we will support them for a minimum of 30 years. So in order to do that, we have to use a good component. So anyway, this is basically the MAD right here. Now, there is a cover that goes right there. Um, I basically got it off the machine. 
so that I could show you the reduction box. We actually run two gears down, I mean, two bearings down here to support it so that we can keep everything nice and tight. Um, the machine is incredibly rigid. Um, so um, let's fire it up for a minute. You can see it move just a little bit right here. This is our, our Mayan calendar. We do it a lot. Whoop, maybe it'll help me have powered up a little bit. All righty. Let's go up here. All righty. So that's about how fast she's going to run right there. Now, what she's doing, she's homing the part out. The Mayan calendar was not designed to be cut out with a torch. We actually draw it. But I want you to see it moving. If you notice, the machine is pretty darn precise. It's very quick. In fact, something interesting about this, the MAD has a resolution of seven ten thousandths of an inch because we're running the brush of servos at all. This machine actually has a resolution of four ten thousandths of an inch, less than half a thou. Very high accelerations, just like the MAD. You can see it, it's ripping along pretty darn good. Relatively quiet machine. Very sturdy, like I'm beating on it right here. She doesn't care, you know. So we haven't built you a hobby machine at a lower price. We've just made a machine that's a little more practical for what the average person needs. Anyway, I can't think of anything else to say in this little this introductory video right here. Other videos will be coming out explaining everything in detail. So thank you for watching and appreciate your support. Take care. Is that a little better?